Assalamualaikum. Hello. Let's continue on liquid phase synthesis for hydrothermal method. Okay. So by definition, hydrothermal involve any heterogeneous chemical reaction with the presence of solvent. It can be in aqueous or non-aqueous solvent at temperature greater than room temperature and normally it's about 100 degrees C at least and the pressure must be more than 1 atm in a closed system okay the working principle for hydrothermal it typically the process is carried out in a hardened stainless steel autoclave it can be in horizontal autoclave or vertical autoclave okay which can be heated to desired temperature normally the inner surface of the vessel are lined with plastic called teflon okay the white one to limit the corrosion of the vessel by the solution these are the important parameters to be considered solvent it can be an aqueous or non-aqueous the temperature must be at greater than 100 degrees c and the pressure must be more than 1 atm in closed chamber which we call autoclave so the beauty of hydrothermal is that we can get very high purity, very fine powders, and we can control the size and shape of the powders produced. But this method is considered as one of the expensive synthesis method because it requires expensive equipment, which is autoclave, we need vessel, and also the Teflon. And the processing parameters also greatly influence the properties of the powder produced so any changes in solvent temperature or pressure will change the powder produced this is the example of preparation of carbonated hydroxy appetite through hydrothermal method okay so first you need to prepare calcium phosphate source and also calcium carbonate source in the ionized water separately and then you mix the two solution and adjust the ph to 14 in the case okay you're using koh which is also the alkaline based ph controller okay then you place the ready adjusted solution in a teflon vessel then only you transfer to hardened stainless steel and into the autoclave then we heat the um, autoclave at 150 degrees C for 24 hours and normally we will just cool down at room temperature naturally and the first thing to do when it's done is to remove supernatant so when you use autoclave you will see one layer of supernatant and the other layer of sediment solution okay so make sure you remove the supernatant before you start filter and wash with the ionized water then the filter cake we need to uh, age or dry at 80 degrees C in this case, okay, for 24 hours. And finally, we have to grind and save the dried uh, cake uh, to get the CHA powder. So then we need to characterize to confirm it is CHA powder. Right, so these are some of the effect of pH and temperature on particle size and shape. So any changes in pH, temperature and time will cause changes in the particle size and shape. Okay, as you can see, let's say we have we start with calcium and phosphate and we want to produce hydroxy appetite, which is HA. So if we change the pH from pH 4 to pH 9 and we change the temperature and time, we are possible to get other than HA, we can get OCP, we can DCPA, DCPD. So all this will change according to the pH and temperature. So that's why in hydrothermal, it is really important to control the parameters. Okay, so that's all for hydrothermal in producing ceramic